hi good morning guys welcome to my youtube channel i know i've been off for a while but that was due to academic work you know that's the main reason why we're here so i had to engage but now although i still have some piles of coursework to do but i found time to make this video for you guys so sorry i emired on you i promise it will not happen again so today we'll be talking about my nhs experience yes so um some weeks back i observed that my reading glasses were i couldn't use them effectively in that they were not magnifying screens when i look at screens effectively and i was also having cluster headaches so i had to make a call to my gp um, and they said they were going to um, refer me to an um, optometric um, center but when i learned got information from those who have um, been referred before like the waiting time was quite much so i was advised to walk into any optometric um, center and get my eyes checked so i started asking questions and one of my friends recommended spec savers to me they recommended spec savers to me so I went into Specsaver, they did all the eye tests. I think the consultation fee was £20 because obviously in quote NHS does not cover anything beyond anything um, regarding to eyes, dental and what else, ENT, I think so. So I had I was I was angry to start with because I felt the IHS fee I paid should have covered for all of this. So why am I going to spend extra money on something like this so anyway because it was very serious and i was feeling very discomforted so i had to get it done so they finished the eye test and discovered that actually my my observations were right my reading had deteriorated a bit so i wanted i i inquired to find out why but like my screen engagement time which boils down back to academic work so uh, i was getting advice like cut down on your screen you know that that's not possible i'm a student i use system every day so are you trying to tell me not to do my coursework so I had to like dim, like just to help myself, dim the lights on my screen, dim the lights on my phone, like anywhere there are like bright lights, I just dim them a bit. So after the eye test, it was now time, or eye examination rather, it was now time to speak, to pick frames. Aha, that's where the money matter now comes in. <laughs> so I see frames of 17 pounds, but they are not what I want. And then I see frames of... 99 pounds oh they are gorgeous they are what i want but the price tag on it and this is just for the frame this 99 pounds doesn't cover what i will pay for the lenses because i'm supposed to pay for the lenses photochromic and then um there was something else they mentioned to make it very comfortable so it doesn't keep falling in and out so it was there and then i was a bit confused i had to call one of the um, um agents there and then she comes and says they are on promo so if i go for the one of 99 pounds i get a sunglass and i get my medicated glass so i thought of it i thought of it so i was like okay let's do it your baby girl in my head i'd already started calculating that okay um it's not past 100 pounds i will spend it's not past 100 pounds so they brought my bill first of all they measured because it's not like in nigeria where you just pick a frame sorry i'm not trying to cast nigeria well, the, the eye examination here was like, I would give thumbs up for it. So, um, they kind of like measured to ensure that there are no, like, you know, this stuff glasses do that they, they shift and come in. So they measured it to make sure that it's comfortable for me. Yeah. So it doesn't go on and off like that. And that's one thing I dread about wearing glasses. Like you're wearing and then you have to constantly be pushing it in and pushing it out so that's like that caught my attention that's that's why i had to mention it. so after everything my bill came out and they said i was paying 200 and something pounds i said Damn! Damn! what 200 and what i said no i'm a student i can't pay that kind of money so they were like okay um um, we can take this off we can take this off we can take this off i was like oh hope it won't affect my eyes because practically what made the bills increase was they were trying to like um medicate the sunglasses as well for me but i didn't really see the need for that so i just told them to take off two components from the sunglasses and just leave all the components for my reading glasses so I changed because initially the sunglasses was a, a black frame. So I changed it to a brown frame because I, I feel 
a darker frame is like hard for a woman you need something more soft too so i went for a brown um dink and then i got that so at the end of the day i paid and then um i was to get the glasses one week later okay so close to the it was on a tuesday i was supposed to get the glasses close to the day of collection i get a call that my glasses is not yet ready i say uh -huh. uk healthcare system we embarrass you i waited one week was gone two weeks was gone these were people that told me with confidence that highest is just 10 working days i'll get my glasses so out of frustration i was just tired the headaches were like everywhere i walked in to um the practice when i got there you know my glasses was there they actually forgot to call me ah I was like, mm -mm 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 -mm. I thought you guys were up there. <laughs> now you're just here. So I got the glasses. This um, is the pink one. I kind of like love the pouch actually. And this is my reading glasses. You can see inside of it, like it's so beautiful. Spexiva. Mm -hmm. They came through. They even have their name embroidered on it. So this is the reading glasses. My spouse helped me to pick this one because I had to do a WhatsApp video call with him to be sure which frame to go because i'm not very good with picking frames like if you see the form the previous one i i was wearing i think it was my sister that picked that for me so i'm not very good with picking frames so this is the reading glasses like check it out man your girl looks so late 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 and it's so magnified like i practically don't have to strain or squint to see stuff and the, the floor is so level like there is no um movement or disorderliness in my eyes right now let me use that phrase so yeah this is it initially the first two days it was kind of like a bit um difficult because this is a different reading from what i usually wear so i felt that awkwardness for as time went on because i consistently um had it on so it normalized so now i can use it to read i can use it to walk i can use it to do anything so yeah this is the reading glasses it's beautiful right yeah i know pink 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 shade of pink okay so um let me put this back and um show you the sunglasses which is the second offer so i got the sunglasses as well voila my sunglasses yay so let me just get this out and have this on so so yeah these are my sunglasses yeah, I use them for when I'm not on screen time, when I'm working and it's sunny or most times I use it when I want to watch a movie just to like, especially where I cannot control the brightness, I just put it on to dim the light. So these two, these two frames or these two pouches are always in my bag because I can't tell when I'm going to need them and I need them seriously. I need them everywhere I go. So I always have them on like it's actually worth the pay eventually at the end of the day i think i paid 126 pounds for both of them and it's actually worth the pay it's actually worth the pay because this is beautiful and the headaches are gone and um it's okay now so yeah i know the last time i wore it to scare everybody i was like ah so look pretty sneaky so look pretty sneaky yeah that's true it's so gorgeous and unique to me like it just makes me stand out so yes guys um uh, yeah i wanted to show you this and it's not just me alone there are so many people that are complaining of uh the feeling that the the fact that they feel that the ihs feel is a waste of fund and i actually do agree with them because i feel it's a waste of my resources if i can't use it for my dent for for uh, a dental procedure i can't use it for an eye issue i can't use it for an ear issue like it doesn't really make sense then what am i using it for just general checkups no it doesn't make sense that huge sum of money it should be utilized um effectively so we feel like it's not being used i cannot you can actually give me back my money let me be paying for my health care by myself like you get like yeah out of pocket i'll pay for it for my pocket by myself and to have to as for the dental practice that one is like another day stuck on its own because i was also trying to book and i was told i was supposed to have booked like a year ahead that there are, there are so many people on the queue and i was like don't worry i'll just walk into any private practice and just do what i need to do and just get out or probably do it somewhere else so yes yeah aside that the healthcare system here is maybe because they have up-to-date equipment and all that but i don't really dig it like i don't really dig it i would gladly go to my nigeria and pay out of pocket for healthcare because i will get all the attention that i need like 
for my GP now. I can't just walk into my GP when I have an emergency. I have to call. I have to call ahead of time and they would have to book me in for me to have access to a GP at that, to see a physician that day. Like it doesn't make sense. That's why hospitals are there and they don't open Saturdays and Sundays. Like, so if I have an emergency, what do you want me to do? And most times I've heard people that call and, and they tell them like in severe pain or severe distress and they go um, take paracetamol. <laughs> paracetamol, you'll be all right. Anyway, that's why I was skeptical in calling them, but mm, thank God they came through. And for me personally, the time I've had to visit my GP, like it was just that morning because usually the, the operating system where you call early hours of the morning, like let's say 8 o'clock, and depending on how severe your case is, they book you in. So I called by 8, I got booked in, I saw the doctor and everything was all right even though i didn't approve the medication they were giving to me oh, come on you know i was a pharm i'm a pharmacist so i didn't approve the medication that was given to me i won't give you details but i didn't just approve of the medication that was given to me because i am a bit skeptical about taking medication so i rather prefer to go home and um, observe some bed rest and hydrate very well so yeah i've been doing that and so far so good the girl has got no headaches no headaches no headache so what i do now i take regular breaks from screen time yeah because that was what i was advised to do uh because i usually can stay on the screen for like four to five hours non-stop so but i had to cut down on that and do a little bit of screen time and then i take breaks and go do all that stuff so yes hope i didn't bore you with the storytelling today don't worry there are lots of amazing things in line like i think um this month i'll be having a uh, outdoor activity with my classmates so don't worry you all are gonna be invited virtually you are going to see everything like mm, the place we're using is so it's so on point don't worry i keep you up to date i'm not running away from you anymore bye bye for now mm -hmm.